morning. There it is right there before you eye before your eyes right there stocks surge as China deal is 90% complete. I hope you guys are ready to see the Dow at 27k on Friday. You guys are at the end. That confirms it right there guys, 90% complete on the China deal. Hey, good morning guys. It's pitch black outside. It's like 4 a.m. my time. Uh, good morning. You guys make it you guys are so kind and supportive on the channel. You guys make it very hard to just not reach out and help you guys. Here's where we're at. Um, as you see, the Dow is ready to blow through the roof on Friday. I hope you guys are ready for that. Um, I've noticed a lot of comments from members that are talking about the rate changing just randomly through the month of July. I wanted to touch on that for you. If you guys aren't aware, Iraq's budget spans from the beginning of January through the end of December, okay? That end, they're audited by U.S. auditing accounting firms, okay? So here's what that means. If you look very closely at Iraq's news, you got to look at accounting periods, U.S. accounting periods. If you looked at Iraq's news, they already show you that they're following U.S. accounting periods, okay? They've shown you that they, that that regarding the rate change, they use the whole first half of this year from January through the end of June, okay, to set the stage for the rate change. And then they've put out multiple articles where they told you they were gonna release a supplementary budget for the month of, starting for the month of July, okay, to fund reconstruction. And you, every single one of you already know, reconstruction is post rate change. So my point to you is they're following U.S. accounting periods, okay? What does that mean? Well, this part's my opinion. It should not be used for financial advice, okay? What that means is that they need to end Q2 with a new rate and walk into July with a new rate, okay? So that's the reason why just, guys, make it cut and dry. Don't overthink it. So I just wanted to share that with you, that they're following, in my opinion, they're following U.S. accounting periods and they need to walk into July with a new rate already in hand, okay? Um, guys, we're looking amazing. Since the beginning of the year, I've shared two major things. Again, since the beginning of the year, my long timers, every single one can witness this. I've told you when the, when the rate changes, the Dow will reach 27K specifically on a Friday. And then I've told you our one and only delay is completing the formation of that government. I hope you guys notice that it looks like both of those steps are gonna happen during the same week being this week. Both of both of those steps will it, it, to, right, right now they're in and remember how I told you they're gonna they're they're gonna hide that they're gonna hide all the information from you about the formation of the government. They're gonna keep hiding it from you and just and just tell you at the absolute last minute, okay? Well, with that said, uh, yesterday's news, or actually from two days ago on Tuesday, told us, or actually no, it was Monday, I'm sorry. On Monday, they told us they would complete the formation of the government, the remaining portion of it, on Thursday. And notice here we are Wednesday now, and they haven't even put the, they haven't even posted the agenda as to, or, or, they haven't posted the agenda, nor have they told us 100% for sure that they are going to do it on Thursday. And, and here we are Wednesday, guys. Notice how they're hiding it from you. Why are they hiding it from you? Well, again, the formation of the government is the linchpin to the rate change. Remember I told you, remember I told you they would, they would, they would announce the formation of the government or announce the completion of the government in very close proximity to the timing of the rate change. I also told you they were going to hide those details from you. Here you are Wednesday, and they haven't given you a definite of what they're doing on Thursday. So there you guys go. You guys have the best day ever. Take care. Bye.